Hello everybody, my name is Parak, and in today's video I'm going to pit the Lance against the Steam Train himself, Baroth. And I realized I haven't actually got a Baroth for Anomaly Investigations, so it's a pretty decent idea to go get him. I want to try and get one of each monster finally. I don't know when I lost a Baroth, I'm pretty sure I had one, but it's whatever. I've got a Mela Hellfire 3 with a 3, 2 and a 1 slot. And here are the skills and decorations of course, all the green numbers here are from decorations. And let's go fight a Baroth. Because as you can see, I literally don't have one for some reason. So we're going to go get one. Alrighty, this will be interesting. I haven't fought Baroth in a while. He's kind of one of them, those monsters you fight once and then never really again. Because from memory, his pieces aren't all that good. It's just, he just exists, kind of. But his hit zones are also kind of annoying because he's obviously got the mud mechanic. Which I don't think is as bad as Jurototus. Where it uh, decides to go, okay, you just can't do elemental damage anymore. At least I'm pretty sure that it's fine. There. Okay. So we're just going to be going for the arms here. He's also quite weak to all the statuses, I think. Even Blast. Oh my god. He did it twice in a row? Is that normal? Unless it was just bad AI as usual. Oh, that should have... Yeah, that one should have hit me, in all honesty counter it to get the buff and I had no stamina okay shaking it off we poke him oh right he shakes it off completely so if you're close to him it's obviously gonna hit you okay leaping thrust that there oh my god I was too late or too early nope Whoa. <laughs> this is way sketchier than I thought it would be but I think it's partly because of the the water blight there Oh my god, this water blight is messing me up so bad. I didn't even expect to get water blight, so it's like, yuck. No, oh, okay, thank you, Wimbledon. There, this is so sketchy. I'm pretty sure he can immediately proc Moxie if he hits me with that. I couldn't block it because, my god. No stamina on this is so awkward. Okay, there we go, finally, water blight's gone. Obviously, I can no bury, no bury it off, but uh, it kind of didn't have a chance. It's being quite a... I wish they would make the hitboxes a little clearer. I was to the right of his head there, so I thought it just wouldn't hit at all. You know, because he slammed his head down. Okay, there. But I guess if he's attacking, I should just assume that it's going to hit me. But uh, it's... Generally not how it should be. <laughs> At least in my opinion. Okay. Oh, so is he getting staggered from trying to hit me or from the wall? I feel like it's the wall, right? It has to be the wall. Uh, unless it is because I'm using Lance. If so, that's a cool mechanic. Or a cool little gimmick that Lance can do. Which I guess it makes sense. If he runs into a wall or something like a wall should get stopped. Like in his tracks. That's okay. Okay, there we go. Poke to cancel. Counter this for a buff. That way. Okay, nice. There. Mm hmm. Head slam. I missed it. That's alright. I'm surprised you don't need more than uh, Guard 5 or Embolden 3 in this case. Because I feel like he should hit ridiculously hard to the point where it goes through Guard 5. But I guess that'd be unfair as well, because he's an early game monster. Okay. There. Yeah. Okay. So if he swings at me, I should just assume that it's going to hit me. There. Okay. Poke to cancel. Okay. Nice paralysis. As I said, he's quite weak to all the statuses. So it's not too hard to build up any of them on, like, uh, element builds or status build. So you get to just attack him. Also, his arms are quite weak to raw as well as element. That's why I'm going for that instead of the head. Because the head's a 40... The head is a 40 hit zone for element. But I don't think it counts if the, uh... Like, top part of him there is on. Because you can hit the... The, like, part above his head off. I don't know what you would call that. The, like, frontal lobe of him. You can knock that off. And actually carve it. But I don't think he takes damage there. Elementally wise. Until that is broken. Like the fleshy is exposed right no get some more leaping thrust 
Uh oh. Ooh. Okay. I'm kind of curious to let that hit me without Intrepid, just to see how much it does. But at the same time, I don't really want that to happen. And that's alright. Okay. Nope. There we go. Get some more. Okay, see, that one didn't hit me, because it made sense. Okay. Oh, because obviously it didn't hit me, like, my model properly. But that should be what counts as getting hit. Okay. Nice. That was just a regular anomaly monster. As I said, I don't have one, so this will give me... It should give me a decent level of him. Hopefully. If not, I can level it up really quickly anyway, because once you get to max level, they level stupidly fast. Yeah, let's see what level we got out of that. 54. Okay. I'll go level it up a little bit, show you all how much it goes up if you're max level. Probably skip through a lot of it, because it's obviously going to be the same kind of fight. But just to show you how much it goes up if you're already at max level. And how easy it is to get them back up to max level if you don't have one. Alrighty, so I believe he's 54, right? Let's see. Yeah, 54. I'll show you the end, see how much we level him up by one kill. Pretty much what I'm saying. If uh, you're trying to get all the monsters up, just get your levels up first. It'll go up much, much quicker if you just get to max level first. Which is obviously easier said than done. It does take a while, especially if you're doing it alone. But uh, it'll definitely save you a lot of time if you just do it later on rather than early on. Of course, if you need the materials, obviously, go get them, but generally, a lot easier to just do it at the end, or towards the end, at least. I should let the steam train hit me as well. Okay, that didn't do anything, because Intrepid. How much does a regular one do? Here we go, let's see how much. Oh, it's not that bad. Definitely been hit harder, but I guess it's only like 54 as well. It's not even that high. Full on expected it to just one-shot me, but that didn't happen. Oh, never mind. As you can see, if the mud's off him, it does the elemental damage. So it is kind of the same as Jurototus, just for his head. Which is quite weird, because, see? 150, and it was doing like 50 last time. So it's definitely uh, something to consider. But I guess the, the raw hit zone makes up for it, because Lance is pretty good with raw as well, obviously. So it dealing both raw and element, still just go for the arms. Much better hit zone. Okay, I guess unless you run Ellen Bane, but I feel like it still might do more to just go for this. I don't know. I do kind of miss low rank monsters, because a lot of them do have gimmicks and stuff that are supposed to mess you up. But a lot of them just are never seen again after, like, the early game. Because obviously we don't need their materials all that much. I just wish they kind of kept these gimmicks with some of the monsters. Okay. There. Okay, I missed it. It's fine. Get some damage. Nope. Chase him down. Nice. Some damage on him. Oh, there we go. That wasn't too bad. I think even faster, yeah. Let's see how much this goes up in level. Alright, let's see. 97, okay. Almost 100 then. So we got nearly 50 levels off that. That's pretty solid. Well, that's a, that's a talisman. Too bad you'll never use it. Well everybody, that was the Steam Train versus the Pain Train that is the Lance. It was as good of a matchup as I expected. That and I needed to get the monster out of the way. As you saw, I didn't have one for some reason. And probably got deleted by getting too many quests. As always though, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.